Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing phases of the moon. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. Do you know that there is another factor that affects the weather? The moon affects the weather in a way that when it is high in the sky, it creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere that makes changes in the amount of rainfall. Now, you will learn more about the moon, its phases that represents the pattern in the changes in its appearance. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. A satellite is an object that revolves around a larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the Earth, the, the amount of light is, it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its position. The moon's appearance changes from time to time. It is because the lighted portion on the moon changes as it moves around the earth. This obvious change in the appearance of the moon is known as the phases of the moon. Phases of the Moon The Moon has eight phases, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The Moon goes these eight phases in 29 and a half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. New Moon This occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth. In this position, it is the dark side of the moon that is facing the earth during the fa this phase. The moon is not visible from the earth. Waxing Crescent Moon After a new moon, when the moon seems to be growing, it is undergoing a waxing phase. As the moon starts to appear in a semi-circular form, waxing crescent starts to appear. First quarter. This phase of the moon happens when half of the moon's face is lighted up. Whether it is left or right depends on where you are located on Earth. The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in the sky. Waxing Gibbous when the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called gibbous. During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. Full moon A week after the first quarter moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. This phase is called full moon. A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Waning Gibbous Moon After the full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Last quarter 
On the third week of the month, the half of the moon's lighted side will again be visible. This is called last quarter moon. Last quarter. Crescent means less than half of the moon is lighted. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. Beliefs and practices associated with the moon. Faces of the moon are often associated with superstitious belief. During the ancient times, people believed that the moon has a big influence in their lives. They used the moon as guide. The moon tells when to plant and when to harvest. The moon also gives them sign about the weather. These beliefs and practices were passed from generation to generation. In modern times, some of these beliefs and practices are still part of the lives of some people. However, because of man's continuous search for evidence, what used to be a mere belief yesterday can have a scientific explanation today. Moon and Planting Many farmers believe that planting when the moon is in a specific phase may bring good harvest. It is because the growth rate of plants can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the groundwater beneath the earth and affect the movement of fluids within plants. Moon and Weather When the sun, moon, and earth line up and the moon is its perigee, closest to the earth, you can expect lower temperature. This is due to the combined gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. During full moon, it causes a bulge in the ocean. Let's do this. Perform the activity. Title, Moon Model. Turn on the flashlight. Be sure to focus its light on the large ball. Hold the small ball between the large ball and the flashlight. Turn the ball slowly around the large ball. Do not move the flashlight. Observe what portion of the small ball reflects light. Let's do this. Perform the activity. Title, Debugging Superstitions About the Moon. Superstitious Belief 
the full moon affects your period. Scientific explanation. The menstrual cycle is defined by the regular repetitive monthly occurrence of ovulation throughout a woman's reproductive life. superstitious belief the full moon makes you crazy scientific explanation your mood is not affected by the moon there is no fact to support that notion superstitious belief the full moon will keep you from sleeping. Scientific explanation In various studies, trial sleep patients were recorded as sleeping less during the full moon. Superstitious belief the full moon affects animals' behavior. Scientific explanation It's true that some animals are affected by the moon presence, but it's not the moon. It's the light that affecting them. Based on the gathered data among some members of your community, what are some beliefs and practices associated with the moon they believe in? Some members of the community believe that the moon affects their period, affects animals' behavior, the moon makes you crazy, and the moon will keep you from sleeping. Based on the responses of your interviewees, how do beliefs about the moon affect their lives? In some ways, it affects their lives on how they see things in different manner, but it doesn't harm them anyway. As a learner, how would you convince them that their beliefs and practices associated with the moon have no scientific basis. In order to convince them that their belief have no scientific basis, I will share some of the studies and articles for them to be informed about what they believed in. Explain how the phases of the moon relate to the length of the month. It takes 27 days, 7 hours, and 43 minutes for our moon to complete one full orbit around Earth. This is called the sidereal month and is measured by our moon's position relative to distant fixed stars. However, it takes our moon about 29.5 days to complete one cycle of phases from new moon to new moon. This is called synodic month. The difference between the sidereal and synodic months occurs because as our moon moves around Earth, the Earth also moves around our sun. Our moon must travel a little further in its path to make up for the added distance and complete the phase cycle. Let's do this! Below are the cylindrical pattern of phases of the moon. Label each correctly and add a short description.
new moon. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. Waxing Crescent Moon As the moon starts to appear in semicircular form, waxing crescent starts to appear. First Quarter Moon The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in the day sky. Waxing Gibbous Moon During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Full Moon A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night. Waning Gibbous Moon It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Last Quarter Moon On the third week of the month, the half of the moon's lighted side will again be visible. Waning Crescent Moon A phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. Let's do this. On the space provided, write through if the statement is correct and false if not. A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. This is true. When the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called crescent. This is false. The moon has seven phases. This is false. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. This is true. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. This is true. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.